175 Colorado kids have died in the last five years due to abuse or neglect. Of those children, 72 were known to County's Department of Human Services. These bears represent those children. We started to wonder why these kids ended up dead even though they had a caseworker looking after them. Tonight, we start answering the question, why are so many Colorado kids being failed to death? An eight-year-old's 911 call after his mother lit her five young children on fire. Who is hurt? Um, almost everybody. I don't know who's hurt. Because some of the people died. And that kills me every day. To have to hear my children screaming. Flames burned 16-month-old Ashaya Joseph so badly, her little body couldn't recover. Maria Gardner is now serving an 85-year prison sentence. Not a day goes by, not one, where I don't think about what I've done. Maria says it could have been prevented. They should have taken my children from the home. DHS caseworkers had already investigated her family seven times. After Maria's husband committed suicide, an eighth visit by a caseworker with her own problems. She said she was depressed and taking antidepressants herself. How could she help someone else? That caseworker and a crisis center therapist who Maria visited at the insistence of the county missed seeing Maria's real state of mind. It's obvious in this home video. Please forgive me. I want to be buried with my husband. I want my kids to be with me. I stood in the middle of my bed. I went in a big circle, pouring the gasoline. And, and I lit it. Where did the breakdown happen? The breakdown in, in what? The breakdown was with Maria Gardner and in her own um, emotional state. Shirley Rodas oversees El Paso County's child welfare. I don't believe we made mistakes on this case. The children were not removed, and it is my opinion that the children should not have been removed from the information that we had at the time. Ashaya Joseph is just one of those 72 kids that Nine News and the Denver Post have discovered were failed to death. Those 72 kids were once known by social services. We spent six months pushing for access to information, poring over police and court records and observing every step of the process. What we found is a system where accountability and transparency is nearly non-existent. Caseworkers failed to see or failed to do anything about the signs a child was so close to being murdered. We found in the cases of 14 kids who died, the state ignored abuse complaints. In eight of those deaths, caseworkers violated state policy by not properly opening a case. More than 3,000 complaints in one year never received a proper investigation. Colorado ranks 47th in the nation for transparency in such cases. And when someone is convicted of killing a kid, the killer sentences were 25% shorter than people who kill adults. All of this leads us to ask, is our state serious about protecting kids? Kids whose names were known by counties before they ended up on the obituary page. Kids such as Kayla Pacheco, who was found mummified under his mobile home, two-month-old Grayson Hunt, who suffocated on a bag full of dirty diapers, or Gabriel Trujillo, who was left in the freezing cold as punishment and then beaten to death. The number of child fatalities we continue to experience in our state is too high. Stephanie Villafuerte leads the Rocky Mountain Children's Law Center, which advocates for children's rights. Most people don't ever know what happens or what the failures were. That's because neither the public or the state itself can see the entire picture, even when a child dies. We literally spend millions and millions of dollars in this state every year to keep kids safe. And I think the public have the right to know what happened if there was a failure. Was it corrected? That's what we want to know, uh, just so it doesn't happen again. What should have happened that Friday night when DHS came to your house? They should have taken my children from the home and ultimately, I say put me on a, at least a 48 hour suicide hold. But Maria says blame also lies with her. She has a message for other mothers. That it's okay to trust someone, that there is help. There is.